Hello everybody, welcome back to Woodshire. I am golf cart jockey. Oh, There's quite a view here, isn't it? I like it. Not too bad. Sun just coming up. We got a lot done yesterday, but we have a lot more to do today. Unfortunately, we don't have any money to do anything with. Our humble beginnings have continued, so uh, I look for our money to be tied up with lawyers and underwriters and all that good stuff for quite a while, so... Uh, we'll get there eventually, but last night, yesterday evening, I was talking to our good friend KJ Wiggums. He stopped by, he was making a run through town, and he saw where I was staying and offered a mobile home that he has. Pretty good deal on it, so I took him up on it uh, as soon as I get some money to pay him with, and I gotta get somewhere to put it. We don't have anywhere to place a home right now, but it would be nice to get out of that little loft up there I guess I don't even have enough room to stand up in most of it so we could definitely do with an upgrade there uh, we also talked to our friend Tyler Tyler was kind enough to offer a set of mowers uh, Pottinger mowers that he has over on Goldcrest Valley which is right down the road there according to that sign down at the bottom of the hill so he said we could have those for a pretty good deal and he's gonna deliver those so we got that going for us man did this it's good to have good friends, isn't it? Those guys are awesome. Coming through, going to help us out, and yeah. But those guys want money, too. They're not that good of friends. And they're not doing it for the glory, I don't think. So we are. We're going to get rid of this thing. I was thinking about it last night, how I could come up with some money. And this thing is a monster for the two fields that we... Oh, excuse me. Knock the mic over there. <laughs> Never done that before. Sorry. Um, yeah, for the two fields that we have, this is kind of overkill. Uh, it's a lot overkill, actually. It's awesome, though, isn't it? Look at it. Whoa. Got stuck there. A little wider than I thought. Oops. It was a long winter. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways. Yeah. We're going to get rid of it. But first... I've always wanted to say I've used one of them. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to get in at all. So we're going to take it. We're going to fill it up. And we're going to spread manure on the two fields real quick. Then we're going to take it down to the store. And we're going to sell it. And I think we'll get enough money for this thing. That we can pay Mr. KJ Wiggums. Pay him handsomely. Uh, for all his troubles. And do the same for Mr. Tyler. We definitely need a mower upgrade. That's uh, basically what I spent last night doing. Uh, <laughs> it was, believe it or not, took me a little bit to... Uh, what happened there? Oh, I'm out of money. Is that what happened? Oh, it's not like on 17 where you can go... Oh, oh well. Well, it was a good plan. We're going to use it this much. Ready... Gotta unfold it first. Oh yeah, heaven forbid that thing doesn't go up there. And... <clears throat> almost. A little bit. I think there's more in there than I thought there was. And there we go. Alright. The end of our interrogator career right there. It was as much fun as I thought it was going to be. So, all right, let's go. We'll take this thing. We are going to, like I say, we'll be able to buy a new home, a set of mowers, and I think we're going to be able to purchase a field, too. I think we're going to have some money left over, so we'll be doing pretty good. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if we should buy a field or if we should buy pigs and horses. I didn't think about that. What a monster, man. Look at that thing. It's incredible. I love it. Alright, let's see what Mr. Julian will give us here for it. 156,000. Don't mind if I do. There you go. Thought it was stuck on me there for a second. Alright. Well. We have that taken care of. So like I say, we'll talk to those guys. We will set up uh, time to meet up with them. 
and get those guys some money now that we can compensate them for their efforts but we have I think we have some windrowing to do we're gonna make some silage bales and we have to pick the straw up out of the field so we're gonna have to bail that too because we don't have a loading wagon so uh, we do have silos to put it in though our silos here will they're equipped to store anything so we have that going for us when we do come across a loading wagon but that's not what I want to spend my money on right now. I have a baler so we can make that work. And that's what we're going to do. Let's see, I think this thing will be just fine here. Ooh, watch out. Alright. I was able to uh, clean up the pins, the pig pin and the horse pin, and scrape up enough manure to fill the greenhouses up, so... At least for a little bit, they are fully watered and um, fed, let's say. So, we got that going for us. Make top dollar off of them for a little bit anyways. Without any more animals, it's going to be a little more difficult to fill that manure up next time. That's alright. see, watch out for the chickens here. I haven't decided what we're going to do with the chicken coop either. I have seen a lot of chickens in my day. I don't know if I'm ready to take that on again. The grass is growing so good I can't see. Is it on? <laughs> I guess it's on. Ah, it's not a turn on, turn off kind of thing. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Check that bad boy out. Let's see. I can't see where I've mowed. I know how much of a wind row we're making there, is it? Not very impressive. That's alright. We knew this first couple runs with the silage bales were not going to be extremely productive. It'll be okay. We're doing alright coming down through here. And we still have the big field across the road there. We're not going to worry about making hay or anything like that until we start getting animals. So uh, We do have an animal trailer up there in the building. I saw one of those up there. So we'll be able to transport them and avoid the fees that go along with all that. So that's good. Let's see here. We'll just keep on. I should probably just left this in the field and... Got a second cutting off of it, but we'll do that next time. Uh, like I say, we'll get a little income coming in off these silage bales, whatever number we do come up with. So, yeah, we'll finish right there. I keep trying to turn it off. This thing's all go all the time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretty cool. I guess I'm used to more of a one-sided operation uh, around here. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like this. I've seen rakes, like I say, with you know four or five wheels on one side, just kind of pointing in one direction. But never seen anything like that. That's alright. That's pretty cool. Worked good anyways, so we'll go knock out the straw while we're over here. Better tighten this thing up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I think, maybe, maybe we could break our handy dandy chainsaw out. Go up through there and make a little money off of lumber. And at the same time, make a spot for Mr. KJ to drop our new home. That might be a good idea. Kind of up there, out of the way. Yeah, I like that idea. And, like I say, money. It's all money. I like the money. So we get the money for selling the wood and make a room for a home. So that's a pretty good deal. See if we can do that. This is working out excellent for this field. We'll grab three of those windrows right there. Not bad at all. better than I thought all right well this is super duper exciting 
let me knock this out and I will catch back up with you and we will get on to actually doing some bailing maybe if I can drive straight we can get all these windrows maybe we can actually uh, get some bales wrapped and sold today and see if we can make some money um, oh and as far as money goes yeah we have some crops that we can sell too so yeah let's make money today we usually spend all episodes spending money so let's do the opposite this is not doing very much at all why is it missing that right there I mean that is clearly inside of the well I don't think I like this thing anymore we just can't be friends hmm. yeah that's kind of odd I don't know why it's skipping like that I mean yeah look at that that is that was clearly inside of it now it's doing okay and now it's not you know we're driving in a straight line and that was close to a straight line as I can drive anyways let's let's be real not exactly laser straight there was it <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's that should be inside though I feel confident about that right there. All right, well, we're just gonna have to make do until we make some more money. I've always wanted a merger, the Coom merger, Merge Max, I think it's called, the grass merger. Those things would be awesome. You can pick which side the windrow comes out on. You can put it left, right, or center. Um, yeah, I think that would be a handy piece of equipment there, especially for making silage bales. Um, in, in the kind of fields that we have, you could just run that thing through there, make one big windrow come through, you know, drop your bales all in a line. I like the idea of that. But those things are $100,000. Yeah. A lot of money. So, yeah. Anyways, I said I was going to go speed this up or take care of this and then I talked through the whole thing. So, yeah, I'll do it this time, I promise. I'll be right back. All right, well, we got that all taken care of. I'm gonna head down to the store real quick. No, I'm not selling the wind roar yet. <laughs> I, I should take it with me and just go ahead and get rid of it, shouldn't I? Now I'm gonna, gonna make myself stick with it. We're gonna have to, like I say, just make it work for a while. But we did go ahead and buy a few things from Mr. Julian. He had some items laying around that we can definitely make use of so we need a lime spreader and a fertilizer spreader since we sold our big manure spreader so we had to grab one of those what am I driving here well I think we can take all of this right here let's see see if we can grab that well there's a weight over there too I can't grab all of it yeah, maybe we can. Uh, I think that went to the three point linkage there. New control. 
controls got me all messed up. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can grab the weight too. Look at us, multitasking. Take all of this up in one shot there. So, we'll take this up, drop it off. We're going to use this uh, 7250 here to do some bailing with, I think. Uh, we will drop the lime spreader. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's a big crash. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're going to have to get used to me. Yeah, I know. I understand. It's going to get worse. I promise. But it's as good as it's going to get for you. Sorry about that. Anyways, <clears throat> welcome to the neighborhood. Um, <laughs> what's that saying? We're going to drop this stuff off. We're going to grab the baler, do a little bailing. We'll take the 1455 and use the fertilizer spreader, lime spreader, and get these fields taken care of so that we can go ahead and plow and get some stuff planted. We do have a cedar, don't we? Yeah, we have the Great Plains over there. Ah, I forgot about that little dude. Cool. That'll be cool. All right, let's see if that should be the weight. Uh, this should be the whole lifter. Yes, oh, that kind of spun itself out there, didn't it? Let's see, this should be the fertilizer spreader. Drop that right there, maybe. There we go. All right, let's go get some baling done. Uh, I'm going to knock the straw out first so that I can go ahead and... Maybe Mr. Stefan could get the lime spread for us. And we'll go ahead and move on from there. But, yeah, we can do the, the grass fields with the, excuse me, <clears throat> this, the silage bales before, um, yeah, or while Stefan is, is doing this. So maybe kind of multitask there. And let's see, grab that. I think we picked it all up. Perfect. Alright, so. Here we go. Making round bales. We will... Whatever we got here, we will just grab with the front loader and bale forks for now. We'll just run them down, I suppose, one at a time. Maybe. I think we have the mod. Uh, with the, the lifter, we can grab two at a time. So, let's well, see what we can do. Might take a while to move, move them one at a time. We don't have that many of them, but... Um, there we go. We don't have that many, but we still don't want to be running down there every time. Hope that came out. We didn't get very much time, did we? We don't have time to waste for that. No time. Let's see here. Oh, snuck through there. Go ahead and clean this up for my OCD purposes. And there is a bale sitting up there. Look at that. Like we knew what we were doing. All right. Easy peasy. So, like I say, we got this to do. Um, don't have any animals yet, and the greenhouses are taken care of. I'm just running away with it now. You hear the buzzer? Where did I go? Oh, there we go. All right. So, anyways, yeah, nothing much to do other than go ahead and get these fields knocked out. Uh, wait to meet up with KJ and Tyler. See what we can do there about getting us some new mowers and a new home. That'll be nice. <clears throat> new place to lay our head. I like the sound of that. Is that? I guess I'm ready. <laughs> Sorry, I'm running my mouth and forget what part of the process I'm in there. Just, uh, yeah, lose it all. So anyways, yeah, there we go. We got, we got some money in the bank right now. And I really am fighting the urge to go buy more fields with it. I don't know what field I want, really. I think I do. 
I think I want field number 12, which will be... Oh, we're going to have to stop that buzzing. It's on the other side of field 3 over there, where the animal dealer used to be, right beside that. So I think, I think maybe I'll grab that field. Uh, it's right here close by. Pretty cheap. I think it's only $60,000. And we can get to it fairly easily. Um, even with the harvester, we don't have to go on any major roads. There shouldn't be any uh, tight places to get through or anything like that. So I think it logistically just makes sense that we'll grab that one. Um, field number one right here beside us obviously makes a whole lot of sense, but also a whole lot of money, too. I want to say that it was $160,000. Oh, baby, back it up the hill. So, yeah, we'll have to, we'll grab that one eventually. Uh, eventually, hopefully we can get everything back we had originally. We'll have the whole farm back. We owned everything. Still a little bit back there. Oh, I can't get... little bit back there can't just can't quite grab oh oh goodness all the way down here all right well let me go make some more bales we will I think we'll maybe spread some lime and yeah, maybe I'll get, like I say, maybe I'll get Stefan to do that and we can pick up the bales. That's probably a better idea. We'll get the bales cleaned up off the fields. Fields will be limed and ready to work. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So I'll see if I can get a hold of Stefan, see if he can meet us out here. And I will carry on making some bales then. I'll be right back. All right. Well. Stefan is down there taking care of the baling. He is at the bottom of the hill making some grass bales as we speak. I think he said he had 24 straw bales. So that's pretty good. That's actually way better than I thought we were going to do. So, while he's doing that, we will take the 1455 here, fill it up with lime, and go cover these two fields in fake snow here. Then... There it is. Can see a prompt come up. Um, then we will go ahead and switch over to fertilizer, and we'll go ahead and do the grass fields. Too. Well, hello. Uh, the grass fields as well. I think we can do the grass fields. Uh, I have to make sure. I have to make sure they're plowed. But I think they are. I think they're actual planted grass. I'm gonna have to go double check that now that I say that they were on 17 I believe I don't know anyways we we may put fertilizer on them how about that <laughs> we haven't decided yet we're non-committal so yeah we got that going for us you can't tell us what to do fertilizer you don't know us we'll just make it up as we go so yeah that's it this is actually one of my favorite jobs. This is, uh, I don't mind that Stefan wanted to take care of the bailing. There's something fun about painting the field white. You can definitely tell where you missed, too. There's no problem finding the, how bad you are on that first lap. You can definitely see. So, he said 24 bales? Goodness, it looks like more than that, doesn't it? They're everywhere. Speaking of missing the spots. Somebody just did. This little Amazon, man, I tell you. It doesn't use very much product. has an 18 meter spread. 1800 liter capacity. And I think it was $15,000. Oh, it's just downright reasonable. And it's the only uh, three-point linkage spreader that spreads fertilizer and lime. So, 
Man, I tell you what, you can't beat that bang for your buck. I'm just gonna pretend like that wasn't in front of us there. Now I'm gonna push it out of the way. Ah, man, ran out just right there. So close. All right, well, that's how it goes. I think you got the gist of it. So. We are going to make some silage bales. We'll take care of that this afternoon after lunch, probably. Hello. We'll do that. And, wow. Already full. So, yeah. I get sidetracked easy, don't I? Uh, ooh, something shiny. Ooh, squirrel. Look at that. Um, yeah. <laughs> we have a busy afternoon plan. We'll wrap some silage bales and get those to the barn and get them sold, provided we have any kind of decent price on silage. Uh, I haven't studied it enough since we've been here to know what a good price range is, but as long as it's not in the red, we'll probably take advantage of it and go start making some income here. I think the first thing we'll buy is probably some pigs, maybe just a few pigs, and we will go ahead and cheat and buy <clears throat> the, the food necessary to fill their trough up the first time. Uh, I think that will get us through. They will create enough future bacon with that that we will be able to sell it and, and cover the food cost with that. So I think it's going to be a while with the, the fields that we have before we can start um, actually making, storing enough food for the pigs. So yeah, we'll just buy it at first. That's all right. I think they can produce enough each day. Once we get them up there, eh, they'll cover it, and we'll still make money off of it. So that's the plan. I think that's what we're gonna do for now. Until we become millionaires, I want to be a millionaire, but not gonna happen tomorrow, is it? So, with that being said, I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'm Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day. <laughs>